All right, here's a great question where you're <coughs> adding and subtracting uh, rational expressions. So first off, you've got a, there's no equal sign, so I can't use the I hate fraction rule. Um, so I need to get a common denominator. So I have a y plus 6, get a different color. y plus 6, a y minus 6, then this. First thing you have to factor that, perfect. <coughs> now figure out your lowest common denominator. In this case, we need to include every factor the most number of times it occurs in any one factorization. So I have a y plus 6. I need one of those. Uh, and there's, there's one here and one there, so I just need one. And then I also need a y minus 6. There's one there and one there, so I just need one. So this is my common denominator. So for each term, I need to change it. So... Instead of a y plus 6, I'm changing it to a y plus 6, y minus 6. Uh, just a sec. Let me use different colors. So I have a y plus 6, and then I also need a y minus 6. And if I include that on the bottom for this expression, that part, I also need to include it on the top. Okay, so initially I have y minus 4 on the top. Now I'm going to have a y minus 6 up there too. <clears throat> minus. Okay, this one is already y minus 6 on the bottom. But I have to have that common denominator, so I also have to have a y plus 6. If I do that to the bottom, I need to do that to the top. On the top, there's already a y plus 1 there. Okay, doing good plus. Uh, the next one needs to have... Oh, it has a y plus 6 and a y minus 6 already, so I don't need to touch this one. So on the top, this would just stay as a y minus 7. Okay, so now I can put them all under one denominator. Let's do that. So I just have a y plus 6, y minus 6. But then on the top, I'm going to have to foil all of this stuff, foil all this stuff, and this one, I don't have to <coughs> foil it, but I'll have to include it. So let's do the first one. The y squared minus 6y minus 4y plus 24 minus, the next one will be a y squared. Notice I put a bracket there because you're subtracting this whole thing. So I put in a bracket because I'm going to have to subtract everything that's inside that. Okay, y squared uh, plus 6y plus a 1y, plus 6, is that what it was? Yep. Plus y minus 7. Okay, things are looking beautiful. N uh, next, I would apply this dirty, rotten, filthy, stinking negative. So leave the first, y squared, oh, I guess I can add those, that'd be minus 10y, plus 24. Then it'd be a minus y squared, minus 6y, minus y, minus 6. So you have to change the sign of everything that's in there. It's interesting that they're all positive, so they all switch to negative. But you just do that for that term, and then the rest of the stuff is just, you just leave it. All over, y plus 6, y minus 6. Now let's collect like terms up top. Here's a y squared minus y squared. Ooh, nice. Gone. Okay, minus 10y minus 6y is minus 16y, minus another y is minus 17y, ooh, plus a y would be minus 16y. So I have a minus 16y, so all my y's I've t taken care of. Now I just have to do my numbers. So 24, take away 6 is 18, and 18 take away 7 is 11. So plus 11, all over y plus 6, y minus 6. Okay, so that's how you can add and subtract those rational expressions. So you have to be careful when you make that common denominator. Uh, when you're making, oh, I'll use a, this thing. When you're making the common denominator, um, so this is what it started at, this is your common, your common one's over here. Once you're making your common denominator, if you add something in, you're actually multiplying. But if you include something down here, you also have to include it up top. 
include on the bottom, include on the top. Um, you can't just sort of add all of these things at the top together. So the Y and that and that. You've got to um, fix. If you change the denominator, you have to change the top and then deal with that. All right, hopefully that helps you with that question.